first, let's get started with a few words from LAFC's co-president and general manager, John Tonzi. You can sit or you can He's on? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Katiana, for, those, for the warm introduction. It's a pleasure to be here with you all today. I see some supporters. Um, I'd also like to thank some of our owners who are here, and on behalf of those owners, uh, Larry Berg, Bennett Rosenthal, Brandon Beck, Sean Neff is here, our executive chairman, Peter Guber. It's a pleasure to be here with you all today uh, for another exciting day in the history of LAFC. Um, as Katiana mentioned, we started in 2018 with a vision of what we felt this club could be. And I think as I look at the players who I am excited to announce here today, it speaks in different ways exactly what that means um, in terms of our vision. We always started with this idea of representing Los Angeles and doing so in a way that made our city and our, and our supporters proud. And starting with that, we always said LA is a city of stars. So it was always a part of our uh, intentional program um, and model to bring in stars to this city. And um, I'll, I'll start with, with Ugo. It's, uh, it's rare that an MLS team and a team in general is able to sign a World Cup winning captain and when the opportunity presented itself to sign Ugo and bring him to LAFC we jumped at the opportunity and it did not take long for me and for us as a club to see exactly why Ugo has had the success he has uh, he has had I think everybody can see what he does on the field but I already can see and sense and feel the impact he will have on this group as recently as Sunday in our match you can see his unique ability to lead a team from that position, and he's obviously done so to great success throughout his career. So I'm, I'm very excited that Ugo is the next in this line of stars that we have brought to this wonderful city to represent LAFC. Another um, part of our history that, that I'm very proud of is this idea that we can invest in young talent from around the world. They come and they make their home here. They connect with our supporters. They help bring LAFC the success that we have had. And then maybe if the time is right, we have been able to move the players on in their pursuit of, um, of other opportunities. And so for me, it's, uh, it's incredible now that we're welcoming somebody back in, in Edward Atuesta. And Edward, as anybody who has watched LAFC from the beginning. He is one of the best players to ever have played for LAFC and fit that model of a young player we invested in. He grew here, brought us success, moved on in this case to, to Palmeiras. And again, when the opportunity came, as with Ugo, to bring Edward back, I know our fans and our, our supporters and, and myself alike, we, we recognize this as an opportunity too good to pass up. And owners made, made the resources available. And so Edward is, again, another example of, of this vision that we had, um, not just of having stars that are already stars come to Los Angeles, the city of stars, but can we be a part of that development of stars? And, and Edward is one of our first examples of that. And then lastly, um, with Tomas and Omar, they are where Edward was when he came as a young 20, 21-year-old. And in, in both these players, in, in both examples, I'll start with Tomas. Tomas is a player who at a very young age has had tremendous success both with Colombia's youth national teams as well as one of the biggest, if not the biggest clubs in Colombia at, at Atletico Nacional. And he's, uh, he has known the club for a long time. His father, Juan Pablo, who I'm sure... Tomas gets sick of people talking about him, so this isn't about him, but through his father, he's known the club intimately, and that, that gives me great comfort that Tomas, in the, in, with all the options he would have had as a young, very talented player, he knows what LAFC is and decided to come here for this next stage of his career, so we're very excited to introduce Tomas and, and believe he will have great success here in LA as well. Lastly, Omar Campos is a young Mexican left back who was a bit of a difficult negotiation given, um, given his, his level of play and, and his demand both, both in Mexico and, and abroad. But as soon as we saw that that was a position we needed, we quickly narrowed in that Omar was the right fit. I think Omar is 
one of, if not the top left back in our region. I think despite his young age, he has hundreds of uh, games of experience at the highest level in Mexico at, at very high competition, comes from a great club in, in Santos. And we believe uh, in Omar, we have a very, very good left back for the years to come. And again, similar to what Edward did with Tomas with our other young players, we feel that, uh, that Omar will have, have great success here, help us deliver what we promise to our fans, which is on-field success, a greater connection with our community, and that we'll all be celebrating in however many months' time this is, in 10 months' time, um, celebrating together again. Um, that is uh, a quick introduction of these players. I think Katiana and, and others will come and they'll be able to speak for themselves. We'll do a Q&A. I do also want to add, in addition to these players, we also signed an incredibly talented attacker, David Martinez from Venezuela. David just finished his Preolimpico qualifying in South America. He just finished on Sunday. We're finalizing his paperwork. He will be here next week. He will be in town, um, hopefully available for selection come opening day against Seattle. Again, similar to some of these players, incredibly talented young player who, despite having many, many options globally, decided that LAFC was the right place for them. And I think that's not something I personally take credit for. It's something that I give credit for from our owners and everything, our supporters, the environment we have at the club that these players with opportunities like Ugo, Edward, all of these players have that they're choosing LAFC speaks volumes to us executing on that vision that we started with in 2018. Thank you, John, for those first remarks. Now we're, we're going to get to hear from each of the players as they give their official welcomes and just how they felt joining LAFC. So we're going to start with as John mentioned, our World Cup champion and legend, Hugo Lori. Welcome, Hugo. So if you could just give us an opening statement. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, uh, everybody. Um, yes, uh, I will have a few words uh, just uh, to say thank you to the LFC uh, people that um, gave me a, a great and warm welcome. And, uh, you know, I, I feel really good uh, so far and uh, I start to get to know all my uh, new teammates, all my new environment and, uh, and for me it's uh, just uh, an honor to, to be part of uh, this uh, new adventure with LEFC. Uh, obviously I'm looking forward to meet uh, all the LEFC fans. Uh, I'm looking forward also to play in front of them, to share uh, wins, uh, moments and, uh, and emotions. And, uh, and hopefully, everybody, uh, we're going to have a, a great season. So the preseason is uh, quite short, and uh, we try to make sure that we will be ready for, for Seattle game. And, uh, and of course, uh, to be strong uh, all the way during the season. And um, so, yes, um, I'm glad to be part of the MLS, uh, honored to be uh, part of the LAFC, and, uh, and I'm looking forward to, to start. Thank you, Hugo. How was that first welcome into the locker room so far? Very good, very <laughs> good. Uh, to be honest, uh, Denis helped me a lot. Uh, he improved a lot in English, so <laughs> he, could, he could already um, explain me a little bit um, the way the training room live and uh, a little bit the rules uh, inside the, 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 the training ground and, um, and explain me also um, everything outside the field uh, um, yes so he helped me uh, uh, in my integration uh, into the team but um, but then you know it's really important for me to, to spend time with the with the teammates in and uh, of the field uh, it was a great um, experience you know uh, to spend few days uh, away from Los Angeles and um, and to be uh, with the team 24 hours and 24. Uh, you know, just to try to accelerate the process because, as I said, it's a, it's a short time, you know, uh, uh, until the, the season starts. But, um, you know, we, we try to make sure that we're ready for that. Yeah. 
Well, thank you so much. The city of LA is very excited that you're here and the 3252 will make you feel that welcome during the first home game for sure. And speaking of some familiar faces, the 3252 will also give that warm welcome to someone that you all know very well. So let's give it up for Edward Atuesta. Edward, oh, let's give it up for Edward Atuesta and Hugo. <laughs> Edward, ¿cómo se siente estar de regreso? Muy bien, gracias a todos por venir. Eh, feliz, eh, muy emocionado, mi familia, yo, por estar de vuelta, eh, porque es casa, ¿sabes? Mi familia y yo estamos muy emocionados de volver porque es casa. Y no puedo esperar, como dice Hugo, volver al estadio. Eh, estar, you're gonna enjoy a lot with the fans, ok eh, no puedo esperar para estar ahí eh, vivir de nuevo la experiencia que es hacer parte de la familia LAFC y no, espero este año seguir compitiendo por títulos no solo por LAFC sino en lo personal también eh, tanto él y así como yo veníamos compitiendo por todos los títulos que, en que estábamos y esperamos todos y yo sumar lo que tenemos para, para seguir ganando, para, para ganar competiciones. I cannot wait to be back at BMO Stadium and feel that warmth and all of the fans. I want to keep competing for trophies, both collectively and also individually. And I just can't wait, as Hugo mentioned, to be back out there where, with all the fans. So I'm really excited to be back at home here in LA. Next up, Omar Campos, joining us from Mexico. Omar, bienvenido. Also, that opening statement, las primeras palabras, Omar, de lo que se siente llegar a un equipo como Los Ángeles. Eh, nada, hola, ¿qué tal? Buenas tardes a todos. Eh, la verdad que estoy muy contento de llegar a, a este club tan, tan grande que, que es que, que cada torneo eh, eh, pelea por títulos, pelea, pelea por, por ganar siempre y nada, muy contento de, de estar aquí y, y de poder representar eh, el equipo de, de Los Ángeles y, y con ganas de, de que ya empiece, de, de conocer a, 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 a el estadio, la, la afición de, de, de este equipo y, y muy contento de, de estar aquí. I'm very excited to be joining LAFC, a club that is continually fighting for trophies. I'm so excited to be representing the team, to be here. I cannot wait to be out there on the field, to get to just have that feel of the stadium, being on the field, seeing the fans. So I'm very excited to just be representing LAFC and joining the team. Gracias. ¿Cómo te han recibido hasta ahora? Bien, la verdad, muy bien. Muy, me he sentido muy acoplado aquí. Eh, eh, y la verdad que, que muy bien eh, eh, la ciudad y, y todos me, me han recibido muy bien. I have felt very welcomed so far. The city, my teammates, everybody. So I'm very happy. Next up. <laughs> Tomas, your turn to give us your opening statement. Welcome, Tomas. Um, thank you. Um, good afternoon to everybody. Um, just wanted to say I'm happy to be here, uh, happy to, to be part of this team. Um, as Hugo and, and John and, and all my teammates have, have expressed them, themselves, it's a team with a lot of success you know, in, so in a short time. And I, I come to, to help, um, obviously, thank John and, and the staff for giving me the, the confidence and, and the, the, the spot to be here. Um, I'm very excited. I've heard a lot of great things about the, the club and the fans. Um, I want to be playing right now. I want it to be 24th right now to see the spectacular scenes that, that you can see in the, in the stadium. And, and how I said it before, I'm very happy and, and excited for what holds us in the future. Well, let's hear it for all the players up here. Eduardo Testa, Hugo Loris, Tomas Angel, and Omar Campos joining LAFC for the 2024 season. Next up, let's take a few questions from the media. Please raise your hand and wait for the mic. 
so you can ask your question. So we will start with Kevin Baxter from the LA Times. Thank you. This is for Hugo. Bienvenue, Los Angeles. Um, could you tell us a little bit about um, your decision to come here? You were making a lot of money at Tottenham, not so much here. Was it a matter of you had enough money, you just wanted to play? And what would success for you look like here? Thank you. Uh, it just show you how much I wanted to come. Um, <laughs> no, I arrived at one stage of my career. I needed uh, something new, something different. Uh, you know, I had a great moment in, in Europe, and um, and I was just looking for different opportunities. You know, to, to leave Europe and and to experience a new continent, to experience uh, a new life as well. So. Um, you know, during all your career, you you arrive at some moment that you probably uh, is a bit more selfish, and you think about your own career. And I arrive at one point, like uh, for me, uh, the family is is even more important, you know. And um, so both, you know, on and off the field, uh, I wanted to make sure that uh, I can enjoy this experience. And uh, and when the LEFC experience. Uh, come as an option, you know, I was uh, so much excited, you know, to, to come and uh, everything uh, went so quick. Um, John came to visit me in London and uh, and I'm really uh, grateful for that, you know, because it was for the new year. So uh, it means uh, a lot for me. And, um, and now, you know, I'm still waiting for my family to come, but uh, they are coming soon and, um, and we're going to start our, our new uh, chapter, you know, a new life chapter together. And what would success look like? Well, um, even if LFC is a young club, you know, uh, they already prove at the, at the high level, you know, they, they've been so much uh, successful. And, um, and I just want to come and to help the team, you know, to give continuity of this success. Um, you know, football is universal, you know, uh, win is the most difficult thing to do. It uh, doesn't matter where you are. Um, and, um, and we also uh, have a, a group of supporters who are amazing and uh, who bring passion, who bring expectation. And, uh, and that's something that um, is really useful when you are a football uh, athlete. Because uh, at some point, you know, uh, you can motivate yourself. But uh, it's important to, when you play, to represent uh, an identity. And uh, LEFC has a deep identity. And that's why they've already been uh, so much successful. And we are here, you know, uh, you know, not only me, but also my, my new teammates to, to bring continuity, to bring uh, freshness, to bring, uh, I will bring also my experience, but uh, they're going to bring their creativeness. And, um, and all together, we, we're going to try to, you know, to make sure that the team is going in the right way, the right direction. Um, and again, you know, you cannot make success uh, only with players. It's all about the club, an identity, also with the fans, who all, everybody is making one. So. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to to start officially the the LEFC experience. Yeah. Thank you, Andy. Uh, question for Eduardo and Thomas. Eduardo, eh, cómo estamos? Gusto verte otra vez. Eh, cuando hablamos en su primera etapa que estabas acá era el acoplarse. Usted me dijo que quería ser uno de los mejores mediocampistas de la liga. Lograste muchas cosas. Te fuiste. Lograste muchas cosas ya también. Pero ya vuelves en otra etapa que no digamos que es una cosa nueva, pero sino reencontrarse con esta visión, con una liga que bien lo conoce. Para usted, ¿qué es el reto que se encuentra usted en, esta, en este momento mentalmente para la segunda etapa? Gusto saludarte de nuevo. Eh, mi expectativa, mis objetivos son, como te dije antes, quiero ser el mejor en lo que hago. Quiero apuntar a ser de nuevo el mejor mediocampista de la liga. Eh, quiero seguir escribiendo capítulos en la historia de este club, como desde que llegué. Y hay capítulos que en el pasado perdimos, como finales, que quiero ganar en este nuevo capítulo. Y esos son mis objetivos claros que están en mi mente desde el momento en que perdí esa final, por ejemplo, y quiero, quiero ganarla. 
Pa Tomás, eh, a mí siempre me interesa los jugadores que vienen, pues el extranjero. Usted es un caso distinto porque obviamente el, lo su papá, el éxito que tuvo el acá, pero su interés de la liga, ¿qué era antes de venir? Obviamente las cosas o sea, no, no se dan en, en Colombia, pero su interés en ese momento para decir que quería dar el salto a venir a, a probarse en esta liga. Bueno, un gusto en, en saludarte también. Eh, bueno, como lo habías dicho, yo hace mucho, mucho tiempo no, no venía ni, ni tampoco veía en vivo el, el fútbol de acá, pero siempre seguía eh, los equipos que me gustaban y obviamente, como lo dije ahorita, es, eh, este es un equipo que con poco tiempo ha tenido mucho, mucho triunfo y yo vengo de un equipo eh, similar. Eh, obviamente eso exige muchas cosas, exige muchos estándares, pero yo creo que, que esa es mi, mi personalidad, eso va conmigo, yo me exijo a diario, eh, vengo acá a buscar lo mismo que, que buscaba allá en Nacional, ganar, eh, escribir mi nombre, hacer mi propia historia y, y bueno, eso lo, lo haré eh, en el día a día con mi trabajo y, y con, mi, con mi talento. Hi Hugo, nice to meet you. Michael Ramirez from Enfoque Deportivo. The season begins next weekend against Seattle Saunders. How important is it for the team to begin the season with the three points? And how much did you know about the league before joining LFC? Thank you. So we still have 10 days, you know, to keep working and to keep preparing ourselves. Um, but I think like in uh, any competition that you are involved, uh, the first game is always important, especially because we play at home. And um, and you really want to get the right feeling, you know, uh, from day one. So, um, you know, we're gonna make sure that we prepare the game as good as we can, you know, to to to, to give um, every chance to to win that game. But uh, again, there is plenty of games during the season, and um, I think the most important is that we we find um, the rhythm, you know, and and. Uh, and the consistency uh, during the season. Uh, that's the most important thing and that's the focus that we have um, to look on. Um, and then the other question, sorry. How much, how much did you know about the league before coming to the LFC? Um, what I know, it's like uh, the MLS is growing really fast. Um, I think um, the, um, the football or the soccer, I don't know how you call it, but uh, <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's something that uh, is becoming really exciting, you know, there's a lot of expectation uh, from the fans everywhere in the country and, um, and I think the, the level is, uh, yes, is improving year after year and, uh, and it was always um, something I was looking for, you know, uh, to come to the MLS one day or another. Uh, but, you know, uh, I just, um, I was waiting the right moment for myself, you know, to, to join the MLS. Uh, but you're never sure, you know, you can, you can plan whatever you want, you know, in, in your career, it's difficult to, to predict what will happen. So, um, so that's why. Um, I'm really excited to be here now and, um, and I'm looking forward to, to starting. Hola Omar, te saluda Mónica Delgado de Pasefiltrado.com. Eres un jugador de 21 años que viene a LAFC, un equipo que siempre está peleando dentro de la Major League Soccer. Como mexicano, tú sabes que se critica mucho esta liga. ¿Por qué decides tú ver hacia Estados Unidos y firmar por, por Los Ángeles Fútbol Club. Eh, hola, ¿qué tal? Eh, la verdad yo vine acá por, por el, el estilo de juego que, que hay acá. Eh, vengo porque también quería retos nuevos, quería eh, probar diferentes cosas eh, y es por eso que yo he decidido eh, al venir acá y, y competir en esta liga que, que ha crecido mucho, que que se ha elevado de, demasiado y es por eso que yo vengo a esta liga por nuevos retos y, y, y eso. Y una pregunta para John. John, todavía está la incertidumbre de Carlos Vela, un jugador muy importante que usted ha mencionado siempre y que le ha dado grandes cosas a la institución. ¿Por qué no se ha concretado eh, la renovación de Carlos Vela? ¿Qué le ofrece LAFC al jugador mexicano o qué es lo que pide 
Carlos a LAFC y que por eso está la tardanza de que él pueda renovar? Sí, bueno, eh, la, la razón principalmente es una función de las reglas de nuestra liga y estuvimos tratando todo este periodo en encontrar algo que podemos ofrecer y hacer la, lo mejor que podemos por el, por el jugador, eh, cada jugador. Y, y en el caso de Carlos, Carlos es un, bueno, es la primera estrella de nuestro club, es un gran parte de nuestra historia. Estamos tratando de encontrar una solución y la, la pregunta es qué podemos ofrecer y qué pide y necesitamos alinear en, en, en lo posible y algo que Carlos uh, está de acuerdo que, que, que podemos continuar. Es, es muy difícil nuestra liga en, en, en hacer todo lo que, lo que queremos, pero bueno, quiero re reiterar que tenemos gran respeto a, a Carlos, un gran appreciation, aprecio por lo que ha hecho en, en nuestra historia y, y espero que podemos continuar y es, todavía estamos en, en esas conversaciones. Bueno, es un equilibrio en, en, entre los dos, si sí, entiendo la, la pregunta, es, es tratar de encontrar una solución por ambas partes. First question for Omar was, you're a player of 21-year-old player. LAFC is constantly fighting in MLS, looking for trophies. As a Mexican player, this league receives a lot of criticism. Why choose LAFC and sign with this team and decide to come here? And Omar said, I decided to come here first because of the style of play. I wanted it. I, I wanted to have new challenges, try different things, and compete in this league that has grown so much. So basically, I just wanted new challenges. And the question for John was the situation, that uncertainty regarding Carlos Vela. Why hasn't it come to a close in terms of renewing him? He said that the reason is mostly MLS rules trying to come to terms with each player, what the club wants, what the player wants. They, of course, respect Carlos so much, being the first signing, the first star in the history of this club, and they're just still trying to come to terms. Carlos is okay that they can keep on those talks, and then they want to continue to work on it, so he just wants to reiterate that there's a lot of respect for Carlos, and they're still trying to make it work. Two more questions. Thank you, Josh Gross with the LA Daily News. Uh, Edward, coming back, what feels familiar and what feels different? Obviously, new head coach. I'm wondering how you, you sort of process all of that, considering how much you knew about the club, now what you're seeing. And then the next question will be for Omar. I'll ask for it after. Casi todo familiar, almost everything. Uh, when I arrive, I feel like, like if I go to Brazil one week ago, you know, and came back. Uh, obviously, different players, uh, but I sh I play against a lot of them, so I know almost everybody. Uh, but everything is familiar. I this is home for me, you know, like we. We grew up uh, together, the club and me, so it is a, a, a lot. Is very special for me, you know. Thank you, and, and for Omar, um, you talked about coming here with a new challenge style of play. Uh, what do you imagine Steve Chirondolo can do for your game? Obviously, very successful fullback for the U.S. Men's National Team. What, what do you expect to learn under Steve Chirondolo? Omar, ¿qué esperas? aprender de Steve Cherundolo, él habiendo jugado esa posición con la selección de, de Estados Unidos y cómo puede ayudar su experiencia para ti en particular en esa posición. Eh, sí, eh, aprender mucho de él porque es también un lateral que, que, que jugó y, y, y aprender de, de lo que hizo, de lo que, de lo que pasó y así aprender para, para poder estar a la altura de de, de, de los equipos de aquí de la MLS 
y como te digo, aprender mucho para estar al nivel. He said, I want to learn so much from him, learn from what he's done, his experiences, so I can be up for the challenge that being in the MLS will present. Para Edward y también una para John. Eh, Edward, bienvenido de nuevo. Eh, hace seis años nos conocimos cuando viniste a un equipo que no conocías. Eh, nos puedes contar de tu experiencia que viviste en Brasil y cómo te sientes de llegar de nuevo al equipo donde ya todos tus compañeros se fueron, a la espera de que Carlos Vela, tu parcerito, como tú le llamas, pueda arreglar su situación y ser los únicos dos jugadores que iniciaron con ese equipo en el 2018. Eh, cuéntanos de tu experiencia que tuviste por, por Brasil y para John, ¿qué tan cerca está Carlos Vela? ¿Hay un 50%, un 60% para que continúe con el equipo? Gracias. Sí, oh, hola, gusto verte después de tanto tiempo. Eh, mi experiencia en Brasil fue muy buena, eh, dos años, eh, seis títulos, eh, en un club gigante, eh, el club más ganador de Brasil, el más grande de Brasil, eh, probablemente uno de los más importantes del mundo históricamente hablando. Eh, muchas experiencias, eh, Copa de eh, final de Mundial de Clubes, eh, cosas que quedan para mi experiencia, para, para, cre para haber crecido aún más como jugador y, y de Los Ángeles me preguntaste también que, que era un club que no conocía porque llegué al mismo tiempo que, que nació el club eh, y era sorprendente muchas cosas para mí en ese momento como tener tantos fans que el estadio siempre estuviera lleno que, que rompiéramos récords desde el primer año que, que, que en tan poco tiempo ya estuviéramos jugando una final y jugando de la manera en que jugamos una final de Conca Champions muchas cosas que que la verdad me hacen sentir orgulloso de donde estoy, de haber tomado esa decisión. Fue la mejor decisión de mi vida en ese momento. Eh, y, y feliz con eso. El sentido de pertenencia que tengo es, es diferente, es algo especial. Y como dices, eh, ojalá el parcerito esté con nosotros. Eh, Gracias a él, eh, tuvimos un año fantástico en el 2019. Eh, no sé cuántas asistencias pude darle ese año, eh, que me hicieron brillar a mí, eh, porque al final son asistencias porque él hacía los goles. Entonces, ah, yo creo que nos llevamos bien afuera y adentro de la, del campo. Yeah, so that question was, what, it, what does it feel to be back at this club? You were one of those players, I mean, uh, waiting to see what happens with Carlos Bella. You'd be that only player that has been here since the start. He said his experience in Brazil was unbelievable. Six titles, those two years in Brazil, were one of the most winningest clubs in that country. That experience was unbelievable, lots of learning. They made it to a World Club final. He, at the same time, came back to the club where he saw how it was born in 2018. It was like very amazing to see the stadium full of people breaking records since that first year, also playing a CONCACAF Champions League final from the start. It was the best decision of my life at that moment to choose LAFC. The sense of belonging that I have here is very special. And I really hope that El Parcerito, meaning Carlos Vela, um, could be back he had a monster year in 2019 thanks to him we had an unbelievable year i gave him so many assists i don't remember how many but it made me look good because he would score all those goals y la segunda pregunta otra vez de, de carlos necesito respetar que es una conversación que debe mantenerlo privado solo para reiterar que todavía estamos tratando de encontrar 
una, una solución y que otra vez tenemos gran respeto a Carlos como persona, como jugador y el, uh, el lugar que él tiene en nuestra historia. This is an ongoing conversations with Carlos Bella. It's a private matter, so they want to respect that, uh, respect just what they feel towards Carlos and more info will come uh, when it's due. So now we are going to have a photo opportunity. So all photographers, please, could you stay where you are? We are going to have a moment of photos and images for television first. And then when I tell you, photographers can just come up to the stage. So if everybody can stand right here in front of the stage with the scarves and the hats. Second one with the hats on. Okay, 32.52, up to the, come on up to the stage. Photographers, if you want to move up, you can.